Hey, hello everyone. I hope everyone doing well. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how to use ISO Miner, uh, which is an uh, add-on application to ISO in order to um, construct out a classification tree. Okay. So uh, the data set we use for today is just the eBay auction. So in this data set we have a multiple uh, auction uh, on eBay for multiple item right so the category variable right here can indicating what item belong to and then we also the currency uh, for the auction the seller rating duration of the auction and day close price and open price so the competitive right here gonna predict if an auction can be uh, competitive or not so zero is not and one is a competitive okay all right, um, so the step gonna be very straightforward. So first step, we're gonna do the uh, partition the data. Um, so in this example, we're gonna have a, only a, a testing uh, or a validation data set and a training data set. One of the example that the new version of the Excel miner when the category is gonna be more than nine, uh, they not gonna construct a model. Okay, so in order to overcome this one, so the first step we're gonna need to transform our data. So our data gonna be categorical data transformed by reduce the number of category. So we need to select the variables that gonna be category over here. Um, so now we have the multiple categories in here and we have a way to uh, reduce the number of categories. So um, we can do manually or you do by frequency. Uh, this manually right here you can assign manually assign uh, which group gonna be combined together. Okay, so this one can be time consuming. For the purpose of this example, we'll use frequency. So by frequency, you can have the number of category maximum is nine. So using by frequency, we're gonna have a uh, category of the most number of frequency over here. And the last one gonna be combined with multiple of the, the rest of the category. Okay, when you apply, we have the multiple of the, um, uh, we reduce number of category into nine uh, category. So click OK. All right. So now we have the new data set over here, where the categories gonna be reduced, right? We'll reduce category. Uh, so now uh, the category gonna be number from one to nine. Okay. So I think that that's gonna be good. So the next step we gonna do partition the data. So uh, all the variables we gonna be selected except the record ID, right? We don't use this variable for our, our model, so we just ignore it. All right. Uh, so we gonna use specific percentage. So we are gonna have the training set gonna be a seventy percent. Uh, the validation could be 30 and in this case we uh, just don't use the test set okay now the partition data right here could be you see std partition so this one we're going to use the training uh, have a 1380 uh, record and the validation we have 592 so this one could be you for training a model and this one could be used for validation and select the best model. Okay. All right. So competitive right here could be categorical. So we could use the class, uh, classify. In this example, we we'll classification tree. All right. So the first one we can select the output. That could be competitive, not right. And then based on the data right here, we have the close price gonna be uh, 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 numerical. Open price gonna be numerical. And sale rating, the rest over here gonna be categorical. Okay. 
So uh, all the other variables gonna be or parameters gonna be by default. Okay, we're not gonna change any of them. The season tree feeding we're gonna let it default as well. Um, the prune right here. So we're gonna use the decision tree gonna be prune uh, prune, prune tree. So which one gonna be uh, used for the uh, for scoring? And uh, which gonna be used for the uh, deployment? That gonna be best prune tree, right? Um, we also want to show feature importance and also choose your display so you need to see latest one uh, when you run the model uh, the program gonna produce a tree uh, or display the tree for you okay if you don't see like there's no tree gonna be displayed so um which tree could display that the best prune tree um, we want to see how the how the best tree is gonna be constructed okay done nice right um so we have the two kind of scoring right uh for the training data and for validation data so if you want to see all of the output the detail uh, report summary report a leaf chart and frequency chart right so we can see like this one um okay you don't see like any of them nice Alright, so in this example, the categorical variable are not currently supported for simulation with synthetic data, so we can just skip this step. Finish. Okay, so now we'll see the output right here. That's gonna show you a kind of a uh, hyperlink to all of the uh, uh, output of our model. Right, so we can click over here. That's gonna be. Uh, showing the a, a best prune tree right so you can see over here that's a best prune tree um so the tree high gonna be six uh, that gonna be the, the high of the tree over here the total number of nodes are 25. so you can see the root of the tree right here gonna be open price right if the open price um compared to 2.45 if less than that uh, we can see the close price that gonna be uh, 2.03 and that's gonna be if greater than 2.3 uh, that could be competitive right and if not it could go to uh, make uh, open price uh, uh, threshold that 1.23 and if that's greater than 1.23 that could be not competitive and so on right so you can you can trace along the tree to see um the uh, variables you to uh, create our branches and from the, the threshold values uh, we can see uh, which one gonna be competitive or not competitive right so from here we can just explain how how, how the how the uh, how the tree constructed and also we can interpret the, the how, how the uh, data uh, be used in order to determine if uh, uh, an option a, a competitive or not right so this one this one uh, very intuitive and uh, help uh, to understanding about the uh, the tree the season tree now uh, you also can look at the so that's got a bad prune tree right you can look at the uh, training data as well so you can see right here the prediction of not competitive uh, gonna be uh, a zero point uh, about fifty five, right? That's got relative frequency, and this one could be one about a zero point uh, forty six, and so on. Um, also, if you look at these. Uh, the, the leaf chart is changing uh, the training right um so the number of cases uh, uh community over here so this one right here kept a pre uh, random so this is just just kept a benchmark for comparison so the leaf chart um a much uh, higher compared with the diagonal right here so it's implying that the the model will be a uh, a good model 
okay so in this case you see right here the gain the gain of our model compared with the random uh, uh, assignment right here that's gonna be really uh, uh, large and that's indicating a, a significant benefit right So uh, that's going to be for uh, training. Now also you can have the validation data as well. So this one could be kept a frequency of the records in the, in the, in the uh, validation data, right? So we can see uh, that's going to be a 281 and a 303. That's a, that's a frequency of the um, records with the uh, output is, uh, uh, but the target uh, variable is zero or one. Okay. See the leaf chart of the the leaf chart of the uh, uh, validation data, right? Again, this one could get benchmark random prediction or classification, and you see the gain of our model right here. That could be pretty significant, right? And the last one right here, that's the store of the uh, of the model. Uh, in this case, in this case, uh, pretty hard to interpret. But I think this one gonna be used in order to uh, visualize our tree. So typically, we gonna uh, look at the look at the tree in order to um, understand it, help us to understand it. Um, so um, that that's pretty much uh, about the. Uh, let's see about the validation classification over here. Uh, in addition to the visualization, you can also look at the uh, classification summary over here. So the training technically could you to training data, but uh, uh, you can see the validation data right here. Gonna see how good the tree uh, you uh, constructed the final the best tree, right? So you see the error or the uh, confusion metric over here. So the actual um, uh, target uh, variable is zero and it predicts zero. That's gonna be 252. Actual is one and it predict one is 232. And we have a 50 of them. Uh, the actual is the uh, um, value one, but predict zero and um, 20 record the actual value of zero and the predict is one. So that's an arrow over here. And two of them over here, that's a correct, right? And from the confusion metric, we can um, we can uh, calculate the arrow rate, right? So when the class zero, uh, the total number of cases, that's gonna be over here. Um, the actual zero over here, right? So that's gonna be 280 uh, cases. And in this case, error could be 27, and the error rate could be uh, about 9.64%. Uh, for the class uh, uh, ones, uh, for the class value one, uh, we have a total number of cases could be uh, 312, and 50 of them uh, were incorrectly classified, right? So in this case, it could be error rate could be 16 percent so the overall of both uh, class one and uh, one and zero that's gonna be about uh, 13 percent so that, that's that's not super good but i think the the, the error rate is here that's gonna be um, pretty much uh, better compared to the uh, random uh, classification right so we also can go down into the metric over here accuracy and so the sensitivity and uh, specificity as well so i think uh, this one you can you can use in order to interpret our um, constructed uh, model as well and the detail of the different records also shown right here uh, for different records for prediction right so um, they got a base on that's what, what the probably probability of the um, outcome and from there, they're gonna uh, compare with the 0 0.5 to determine the, uh, the 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 output of the prediction, right? So, for example, the first one right here, the probability predict one is a 0 0.9, so that's greater than 0 0.5, and they predict one, and that's uh, gonna be the same with the actual one, and so on, right? 
okay so um i think i think that's all uh, for the uh for the uh, um, classification tree uh so i hope that that, that helped and just let me know if you have any question uh thanks thanks so much for for watching